In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a compact DAC thermocouple measurement in LabVIEW. So to do this, I've got the 9185 uh, 4-slot chassis uh, with the 9210 uh, thermocouple input module, and then I've got a mini thermocouple connected uh, to the channel 0. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the hardware configuration utility. Uh, before taking any measurements in LabVIEW, I always just try to take them in this utility first just to make sure everything's working properly. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, find my uh, chassis, the 9185. It, it showed up and auto uh, found it because I've connected before. If you haven't, you can always click your PC and then plus, and then you may be able to find it here if it's connected to the network or if you first time connecting, or you can always put in the host name or IP address uh, to find it if it's connected to the network. So then what you want to do is click on the module itself, and then you can click test panel. So this opens up a little test panel. Um, I'm going to direct it to being my module one, which is my 9210, my analog input zero, which is the one I have the thermocouple connected to. I'm going to tell it it's a type J thermocouple. Um, and then I'm going to switch the degrees to Fahrenheit, since that's the one I'm more familiar with. Uh, and I'm going to ho go ahead and click start. So you can see it starts reading right away. It's about 68 degrees in here. It's a little chilly. It's uh, winter in Austin. Um, and then I can pull my fingers on the thermocouple and you'll say it quickly warms up. And then I can release and you can see it drops back down. So that just shows me that everything's working properly. Everything's connected properly. I'm going to go ahead and stop. Click out of this. So the next thing we want to do is open lab view. Uh, where we're going to go ahead and take um, some thermocouple measurements using an example VI. So anytime I want to write code in LabVIEW, it's generally a good idea to uh, for me to start with an example VI, see how someone um, else would do it, understand that, and then I can kind of build my own code based on that. So I'm going to go to help. I'm going to go to find examples. And then to, uh, you can always search if you kind of know the keywords of what you're looking for. But for this, I'm going to go to Browse. I'm going to go to Hardware Input Outputs. And then I'm going to go to DACMX, which is all the examples for all the different, uh, for the DACMX driver, which is all of our DAC products use the DACMX driver. Um, and then I'm going to go to Analog Inputs. And then we have several different um, examples for thermocouples. I'm just going to click on the thermocouple continuous input. And then that's going to take me to an example that is already pre-built to read from uh, thermocouples. And a lot of times these examples will be a little bit overkill. You can see it has uh, trigger settings, timing settings, everything built in. But it does kind of set the stage for all the things that you can control uh, when taking a thermocouple measurement. So I'm going to go to physical channel just like I did in the test panel. I'm going to click on analog input zero. Um, it doesn't look like in this example it allows you to... Uh, change it to Fahrenheit, but that would be an easy LabVIEW code switch, probably made uh, by someone outside of the state, so they didn't think about that. Um, I'm going to set this to yep, thermocouple type J, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and click Run. So you'll see it'll start running, um, and you can see it's around 20 degrees Celsius, which I, sounds somewhat right. Um, but yeah, that's how you can start taking in LabVIEW for your first time. The next thing I'd recommend you doing is just opening up the code. We do a good job of kind of documenting what does what. So you can see first thing, um, we are creating the channel and that's where you're gonna do all the channel settings. Uh, next we have the like accuracy settings, timing settings, trigger settings here. Uh, and then this is where you're actually going to start the task here. And then that, this is where you acquire the data within a loop. So if you wanted to do something different or just pull this into your own code and kind of pare it down if you don't care as much about the trigger settings, uh, that's what I'd recommend you do. So now you know how to take a measurement from a thermocouple using LabVIEW.